Hello and welcome along and welcome to my first look at the highly anticipated Chellington Valley by Oxygen David. And uh, yeah, this is where you are plonked in to start with. This is uh, the Chellington Valley farmhouse. And um, first impressions, oh, in all honesty... I've, I've been around this house. I don't like it. Um, the map, uh, the map. I think, uh, driving over here in the landy looks great. Don't get me wrong. The map is amazing. The only, and I I hate starting something off on this on uh, any kind of negative. Um, but the house is very American. I mean, everywhere you look at it. And I'm not sure where it's come from. Uh, and I... I but we've got this this Elk Mountain Ranch uh, iconography all over it, um, and I don't I don't know where it's come from. It's but it, to me, the house itself, the the place you first land on this map, very very much feels out of place on this map. Uh, it is it 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 feels like it's been lifted from an American map. So uh yeah it's a bit it's a bit of a weird one this um it's it's the the american iconography and everything all over the place is just a little bit strong for my liking um otherwise the house itself is amazing is absolutely brilliant i did try and uh, the the windows seem a little bit high and i did jumping up here i did manage to fall through one of them earlier um but otherwise yeah uh it's uh it's a for, for a perfectly uh it's a perfectly nice serviceable house uh it just feels a little bit out of place on the map uh doors open uh, everywhere as you'd expect uh normal high quality of uh, of everything and just sort of going having a quick look around everything there was yeah it's it's very very big there we go and this this is what i mean this we've got this elk mountain ranch uh iconography all the way through here uh coldwell livestock market is uh is a much more british thing i think um but otherwise yeah it's uh it's a lot of uh you know eagles flying and things and bighorn safe and so yeah i'm not sure about the house however when we come out here, we've got something very British to offset it here. The Landy. We're going to head out. And we're going to go and have a look at the rest of this map. Now, Chullington Valley, if you've played uh, Chullington in either uh, FS15 or 17, this map is going to feel both familiar and strange to you uh the house of course is is completely different from anything uh that has been in this space before but as you'll see at the end of this video the uh the main yard is massively familiar now before we get out there driving i'm just going to bring up the map quickly and this gives you an idea of how big and how much chellington has changed for this map um the main map that we're used to is sort of this bit in the middle here uh, but even that has massively changed. We have a whole new town uh, down in this area here. Um, we've got uh, uh, we've got a whole new river system running through it because all of this these fields here used to be so much bigger than they are, uh, and the, this town used to be so much smaller. So there's a whole whole load of changes and and things to this map that is uh is just crazy uh it's set in bedfordshire it is a fictional map as before uh and if we have a look up here we, we're going to be going around the map in a clockwise way but we're going to be kind of weaving our way around it um we're going to start off going up here uh, you can see we've got lots of different farms in various places around here. So we're, we're going to be dropping into those as we go. Uh, purchasing fields, they are, you can basically purchase everywhere by field. Uh, really useful for precision farming that um, because you'll get 
individual field details. As much as I love it when you purchase farms, in this you do purchase individual fields. Uh, most expensive field, I think, is field one from the looks of this, uh, 631,000. I don't see any field that really comes close in terms of size. Uh, smallest field I found is field 98. That is 37,000, so really cheap. However, if you're doing an absolute start from scratch, uh, yard-wise, you might want to consider this little broken down yard here for 12,500. What a what a great way to get a foothold on this map. So yeah, definitely catering for those of you who are wanting to do start from scratch. Uh, there is There is space where you can go and you can do that with we are starting new farmer though so we're gonna head round and check this out we will check out what equipment and vehicles you get and uh, and we'll have a look at that this landy can go a little bit fast so i'm gonna try and keep things a little bit steady uh, as we navigate around here and you can see what i mean about things being familiar but different uh the, the fields on the left very familiar sort of setup from what to what we've had before although a lot less woodland from the looks of things uh fields on the right again familiar to an extent familiar in that we've we've worked fields 28 and 27 before but they look different they are they are you know definitely changes about uh now this is based on I think his starting point for this was Chellington Valley Extended or Chellington Farm Extended and uh, I love that version of the map and it'll be interesting to see what the roads are like down the bottom end of it uh, but it looks like we've got a bit of an industrial area here as well as the first of our additional farms so this is Whitehall Farm here to the left and again good nice place to get established and get yourself started now i'm wondering if any of the additional farms no so the only additional farms have walk-in houses in them uh, but this is a nice big arable farm this one by the looks of things some nice big barn space a nice big barn door it's good to see some nice large uh roller doors that you could get a combine in without too much hassle along with a couple of other barns beside them uh, that looks like a grain store of some description. Uh, lights around, yeah, so you can see the lights staying on. Does that turn on the ones inside as well? So, no. Do we have a light switch inside of here? We don't. So, that's that's interesting. Is the lights we've got outside, do not turn the lights on inside this barn. Can't see a light switch on the inside. Oh, and it's turned on. Wow, it turns on all the lights. So do we have lights on in this barn? No. So no no means by the looks, unless I'm missing something, to turn the lights on inside the barn, only outside them. And if we turn it off here, that... Okay. Where has... Oh, that's... Oh, right. Okay. So... The light switches, the one on this barn here turns on the outside lights. The one on the other barn turns on the inside lights. So that is a little bit confusing. But uh, at least we found the light switch. There we go. Uh, so yeah, nice, nice starting barn. I bring this round. So this is the version that is with Giants for testing at the moment. I don't know if it'll be released by the time I release this video. Uh, oh, we've got storage over here. So grain, proper grain store over here. Uh, nice little shed. Uh, uh, yeah, nice uh, hay barn, I suppose that would be. And then we've got another barn over here. I'm guessing looking at this... Let's just test this quickly. So if we run back over this way. Oh, and another, and another one over here. If we just go and turn these back on. Do these control the barn across the road as well? 
it's very possible that they do. I don't mind leaving them on. Yep. So, yeah, if you want to turn your lights on, on this, uh, in this, uh, at this farm, then the light switches for all your barns are over the other side. I don't know how I feel about that. I'd said that feels, yeah, a little bit... If I, had, if I had a feeling, and we're not very far into this, I should say. Uh, that feels a little bit rough around the edges. What have we got in here? Ah, here we have our woods, uh, our sawmill. So this is, yeah, liking this a lot. So good directions as to where the, oh, as to where the wood chips go. Uh, and nice markings as to where your wood go as well. Always good to see. Nice and easy way to navigate around this uh, wood store. Uh, like that a lot. Absolutely brilliant. We're going to head over this way now and check out these bits. Oh, car coming across. And here we have our first, coming into our first town. This is the town of Felmersham. And our first sell point as well. So this here is Sun uh, Sunders Sunderland Wick Estate Stores. Do these sheds open at all? We've got we definitely have a sell point here. No oh wow. No collision on that door. Interesting. Uh, we have a cell point here, and do we have a... We've got another cell point around, around the other side. Uh, okay, I think it's around the other side in the next area. So we'll go and have a look at that. There we go. Speed cameras again, as we've had on Sandy Bay. And then, yeah, we got a cell point in here as well. Uh, so there's a couple of cell points there by the looks of things to sell bits. Uh, there and there. Yes, yeah, so those are the two cell points that are marked on the map. And we will go through these. There are a, There's a monster number of cell points on this map. Um, it's just, it's a, a ridiculous number. Really loving the detail on the town. There's a lot in this town to take in. And it's just, the, the roads also are, are nice and windy. It's a, it's a nice bit of design, this. I like, I like the way this all sort of winds around here. And then we get these uh, small fields and things. Oh, yeah, look at that. Wow. Uh, we have got a dual carriageway at the top here, which we're going to go on in a minute. First, we've got this cell point here. This is... Uh, what's that say? Uh, Bellum Grange Farm Shop. And dip tip point here for this. Uh, we will have a look at where all of these... Uh, what all of these things take. But uh, it's going to be a little bit uh, detailed to get to them. That's really nice. I like this a lot. This town, wow! You could this this opens up for for quite a bit of role playing things on here. We can't get out this way though, so we're gonna turn around. No UEs around the traffic islands, uh, BF. But yeah, definitely a nice nice town here. Uh, I'm like I, I really do like that through the middle and can we go yes we can go up this way and have a look at our cell points along the dual carriageway so we've got dual carriageway here can we get along this and into that cell point no so again dual carriage <laughs> oh god i'm breaking all the traffic laws today yeah up here oh Everything on the side of the road. Uh, fuel station there. A um, 
BP1 that is. And then head up here. And we've got, ah, we've got one of the first additions to the map. Compost. So, yes, compost is included on this map. It's another way of spreading fertilizer. Uh, this is the garden center. It must be cell point here. As well as... You should have another one round the back. If we can reach around there. Yeah, nice looking garden center. Uh, it's... The detail... The detail on this map is high. Ah, uh, there we go. Manure cell points at the back here. And there's a, there's a lot of planning and, uh, and thought gone into where everything goes. Uh, and I'm really loving that. That that aspect of this is is brilliant. Uh, there's there's so much being added to this map. Uh, we're gonna head up this. Oh no no, we can't head this way. We've gotta head back the other way. We've missed a farm. So there's a farm I think up the top corner here that we just want to go and visit. Wait, aerial Land Rover. Let's head up this way. There is so much to this map. I mean, we are we are 16 minutes into this video and we just have we 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 only concentrated on this top corner so far. All right, here we go. So in and we've got out of the way up the top here. We've got a farm and uh, and yeah, wow, look at the detail in this farm. This is cracking. So we've got milk, uh, milking here, or milk uh, tanks there. Lots of nice yards. This is this is a very nice farm. A little bit out of the way at the top, but uh, a dairy farm uh, and a very nice dairy farm. Smaller one. And yeah, just a, a very, very nice, tight little British yard. This is, again, this is gorgeously designed, this yard. I like this a lot. Lots of space to work in. Is that... No, that isn't a... Um, I was going to ask if that was somewhere to do... Your silage. That's interesting. What is this area here? It's very... I, I like this yard a lot. This is a great little dairy yard. So if you want to start an, um, with a, a, a nice little dairy yard... This seems to be the place to be. Your cows have... Do your cows have free reign around this yard? I doubt it. No, they don't. There's a, there's a, a fence here. So, uh, yeah, that's a, that's a great little yard. I like that a lot as well. Uh, we will head back out this way. Where we don't have to encounter any gates. And then we want to shoot back along this road here. Probably get aerial with the Land Rover again. So this map is fully Maze Plus compatible. Uh, all the various uh, add-ons, so CCM and uh, so CCM and Forage extension as well, including the Horse extension. Uh, it was due to be compatible with Terra Life as well, but Terra Life. Um, has not yet been released so i don't know if that compatibility is still built into it i would guess it is but i know that uh, farming agency is still working on that uh, so there may need to be an update to this map once that comes out uh, we do have a cell point down here uh, also fully compatible with precision farming it has its own soil map and uh, is great for that there we go and here we've got blacker stores there we go sell point over this way yeah very very nice that's brilliant another good sell point oh i didn't think that barrier was going to come up quickly enough then next we want to head down here we're going to head round to the top of the map we've got a uh, yeah, we want to go this way. Uh, we have got a bit on the other side that we want to make it over to. So yeah, there's gonna be you're gonna have fun if you're uh, if you're trying to navigate around this with that dual carriageway with this because this road basically 
goes off it a bit funny. Now that is... So this is the next farm we've got. Up here. Uh, also, I should say, uh, goes, well, almost goes without saying, this is a fully seasons compatible map as well. So, uh, yeah, it's got all of those, all of those extras in that everybody likes, uh, that works well. Uh, Ravenwood Farm is this one. So this is our third farm. Uh, no, this is our fourth farm, including where we started. Again, nice compact yard. This, I think, has sheep somewhere over this way. Uh, yeah, not quite as compact as the last yard was. Uh, some good little spaces, though. You're going to want a very small tractor or something to get into there. Some good sliding doors. And, uh, yeah, plenty of storage space in this yard. We've got sheep over here, I think. Right, let's open this up. Wow, that is a nice big barn. And our sheep must be... Yeah, I think our sheep are in this field here. There we go. So, uh, sheep up at this yard. We've got feeding trough there. Where is our water trough, though? That is a good question. Uh, there's the water trough down this end there. So, there you are. Uh, yeah, great little sheep yard, this one. Works... Uh, yeah, works really well and head uh, well head out of here nowhere to store grain by the looks of things so not much of an uh, of a um, arable yard but definitely works well as a sheep yard we don't want to go up there because that is the edge so we'll head over this way uh with such a packed map it's really nice to see that we've got a good uh We've got a really good edge. Oh, I've got Henge up here on the top of field 23. And look at that. That is an amazing view. That really, really is. What an absolutely brilliant view that is. Oxy, Oxy's detail never fails to impress especially on the distances like that uh, and we've got another farm over this side here so is this drive through bit here or do we need to go in the other side uh i know we can get into this yard here so yeah another yard uh this has chickens and is this pigs yeah nice another nice full yard wow this is a this is actually quite a big one this is this is a cracking multiplayer map so as well as a great place for single player whether you want to do um just starting from scratch or or starting with something bigger this is a cracking yard oh yeah fully hose mod compatible everywhere as well so uh yeah use hose mod on here too this i think actually might be cows again this is a very nice cow yard wow uh where's i'm just looking for where that label is. ah yes we got milking we got a milking um bit so our cow yard is down here we must enter it's interesting i can't see where you oh here we are here we are cows perfect this is a nice big cow yard. I like this one. I liked, I've liked all the yards so far, actually. They're, there's all a little bit of variety to them that's uh, that's good and that's uh, that I like a lot. We should have a look at, uh, given our first yard, we should really have a look at what the lighting situation is here. Not really seen any other lights, actually, to be honest. He says as he comes up to one. So we've got we've got one there. Where's our light switch? Is that a that's not a door? That's the thing. It's if they if the lights are as disconnected as they were at that first farm, it might be fun to actually find any of the lights around here. I do like the variety of barns. Uh this is the chicken area. That's the chicken feed and I'm guessing that's where the eggs pop out and this is where we get them yep 
So this farm is, is definitely a chicken farm. I cannot find. We've not got lights in the barns particularly. Does that actually, that's a good question. Does that even turn on? Oh, here we go. What's this? Yeah, there we go. So that turns on that light. I think that's the only light that turns on. Yeah, no lights in the barn, so it's just that one there by the looks of things. Hunt the light switch seems to be a uh, reoccurring theme here. Uh, but yeah, that is a very, very nice yard. We've got a cell point, actually. Just over here. Which is intriguing. No idea what this cell point is. That is a cell point, isn't it? Let's have a look. Uh, Valley View Barn. So, yeah, there is a cell point up at this corner. But no idea what it's... Ah, oh, here it is. I'm guessing that that's a cell point for straw. It is just about marked on here. Um, but, yeah, no, no information here as to what it is. Uh, it is at least marked. So, if you do have a selling thing at Valley View Barn, uh, which is where we are, uh, Valley View Farm is where we are. So, that's Valley View Barn, and out the back there is a, is a sell point. Uh, I'm guessing that's probably for straw, maybe. Um, but yeah, it's uh, it's a, a way way out of that. Doesn't interfere with the interfere with the farm itself, which is good. I quite like that. That's that's good. So the road closed ahead. Uh, it goes through, and at this distance, it looks like it continues. That is a very nice touch. Cell point here. This is um, Nitsley Stores. And we have, uh, yeah, cell point down the back there. Again, nice big industrial area for that. And now we get to start heading south on the map and seeing what's down this way. And we, we're, we're in the, an area at the moment which is, uh, which is unfamiliar. I mean, this is all an area that has been... Uh, reworked and uh, and in and quite a lot of it newly created for this version of the map uh, as we go down the side here you should see that we uh, come into some more familiar territory for this map if you're uh, if you've played it before now I just want to have a look at the map because we have got a forestry area off to our side and going and checking that out is not going to affect how we go around this map so that is this area here now Chillington previously uh previous versions has not had a forestry area like this and that is what is wow this looks pretty amazing to be honest so there's a road down the side i want to go on this track here is that a? now that is a house with internals so can we go inside? We can. It is missing uh, doors and things. And uh, it's not looking very lived in this house. But out of the way in this woods. Why let? Yeah, this is a very rundown old house. But it does have an internal, which is really quite interesting. I quite like that. Look at that. Like an old manor house or something. Although it's fairly small for one of those. Yeah, I like that. And then continue on through. Uh, looks like we've got some beehives here. Obviously non-functional. Loving the sound in this woodland. That is very nice. Very cool. Uh, train disappears off down that way. That is... A nice, nice little bit of uh, decoration and detail to this woodland as we come through. And there isn't, there isn't anywhere on this map that doesn't feel beautiful, I think. Ah, and there we go. There's the train going past. Good timing. 
So, an Intercity 125. This, this is a perfect map if you want to do a 90s throwback at the moment. An Intercity 125. Do they still run? Um, but, uh, yeah, that, 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 if you want to do a 90s throwback game, what a map to do it on. Uh, we've got the main store here. So, this uh, will cover most of your stuff. Uh, the dairy cell point is in here. Uh, we've got a very big main cell point in here. Uh, we've got the animal market over here, Challenge to Market Auctioneers. Uh, we have wool sale points with some nice animated forklifts going around here as well. Hollow Tree Farm Shop. Is that another? That looks like that might be another um another uh, logging sale pay place uh egg cell point there anything around the back here nothing around the back of well other than being able to drive through here this looks yeah i uh, can't see i oh, know we did wow massive cell point in here that's going to be fun to get some stuff in. Yeah, wow. Uh, and then if we go round the other side, I think we've got the BGA. So we've got a cell point there for what looks like hay and straw and bales in general. And then down here, we've got our BGA. So, uh, filling point for digestate uh, and selling point for everything into the BGA. Very nicely there. And uh, a rear exit into field 118 out that way. Very nice. Absolutely brilliant. And one of the things that's nice about Chellington, or always been nice about Chellington, is this big central cell point uh, that, that feels like somewhere that, you know, that has always felt like this. So I'm really, really pleased to see that. We're going to head out of here and over the bridge, which I have made, I've had many aerial uh, cars on before, down to somewhere that, that will be uh, both familiar and different to everybody. And that is the Chellington Vehicle Shop. Now, there's something I want to demonstrate here for you guys. And what we're going to do to do this, I'm going to park our Landy here just inside the workshop which is uh yeah great place for for that and uh what we're gonna do i wonder actually if i've got this in the workshop here nope i want to go i've not tried this with the workshop keep pressing the wrong button okay so i can customize and customizing it we do get two copies of the Land Rover. So we've got the version of it I'm customizing here. And then you can see my Landy in the background. And this is what's pretty cool about this shop. Uh, if we go and do it with a tractor now. I thought that might be the case. Uh, let's just grab this Vultra. The shop is the live version of the shop that you're customizing around. And it's one of the most fantastic things on this map. I really, really would like to see this in more maps and more things going forwards. And if Giants is is watching this and, and, and sees this, can we have this in future versions of Farm Sim, please? I think customizing your equipment in the shop, absolutely brilliant. What I do want to do is see if we can... Uh, See if we can lease this. We lease that, yeah. And then customize another one. Ooh, let's head out. Yeah, okay. So it parks it over there. So if you then go and do another one. So if we do the Fiat, it's there. But we are, uh, but we are here for doing the work. So, yeah, it doesn't move along. It just gives you a space to customize it. So, absolutely brilliant. Uh, let's uh, let's return that Vulture quickly. 
because we don't want that appearing in our setup. Uh, so we'll return that. Not often we uh, do a map tool with slightly less stuff, but yeah. So it's the live version of the shop, which is just absolutely brilliant. Um, workshop space there, as we discovered. And yeah, nice, nice big area. So if you buy a load of equipment at once at the start, uh, you're not going to have an issue. You're, you're going to be fairly well sorted. Right, we want to head down into the town now. And we, uh, this, as I said, has been completely reworked. Uh, Milton Keynes that way. We, oh wow, look at that. A nice old fence going round the field, giving people tours uh, with the circus. It'll be interesting to see, actually, with seasons, how that changes, how that circus changes. Because uh, on Sandy Bay, of course, it disappears. Now, I'm going to go round here and we're going to do a circle of the town so that we get all of the cell points in. Our first one is down the side here. And yeah, again, really nice thought out, really nicely detailed town this is. Uh, Essington Fruit Farm uh, is this cell point here. So that's looking very nice. And these uh, hopefully will give you some impression of where all of these are when you come to play the map. Um, because, yeah, I I play this map. I highly recommend it. Right. Whoa. We are going to go. Actually, we're going to go this way here. Because I think, yeah, our cell points are around the back here somewhere. Wow, there's so much detail in this. In fact, yes, what have we got in here? We have a cell point in here. So this is the first of them. Just in this point. Lots of, again, lots of really atmospheric sounds around here. No idea exactly what the... No, no idea. No label on that exactly where, what that is. Uh, we've then got our mace over there. We've got, wow, that almost another uh, agri dealer. That's pretty cool. It'd be cool, actually, if that had a workshop in it. It doesn't, but it'd be, it'd be a nice thing. Uh, then we've got the organic farm shop there as a sell point on that corner. And then if we go round the roundabout here. Again, so much detail in this area. Uh, we've got a cell point just in here. Which is, uh, again, Chellington Transport Logistic, I think is what this place is. Oh, what's that say on the side? Bon Abattoir. We've seen that in the uh, the main area too. Um, but yeah, so that is all. That is all good. Very, very much, very, very much liking that town. That is absolutely brilliant. Uh, we've got one more cell point down here somewhere. Interestingly, dri oh, driving past it, it's in here. Uh, Bury Market. So, yeah, lots and lots of cell points on this map. I mean, it is just absolutely teeming with them. And with 40 minutes, this is going to be one of my longest first looks ever because it is just... It, we're not even halfway around this map yet. So much to cover. Uh, right, up this way. Because we have another farm out this way. And we're going to be using the landy at its full speed. And you get an idea, though, of, uh, of what this area is like. We want to take the next turning, I think. And now we're into the... There's a farm up that way. Look at that. Whoa. Landy is... Ah. So, yeah, there are lots of little yards around here as well. So, sort of dotted around the map. Places to... Uh, places you can start at. And, yeah. 
So here's another little barn. Is this actually usable, though? That's the question. Uh, no, it's not. So this is... This is... It's a bit of a tease. <laughs> there is space here, but it's not a usable barn. By any means. And away we go. Let's head back south. Yeah, 40 minutes into this. And we are maybe halfway through the map. That is just a crazy, crazy amount of detail that we've had on here so far. Uh, we've got our next farm down this bottom corner, though. This is a pig farm, I think. And this, yeah, so this is something that's come in from Chellington Extended previously. Been reworked again. The area looks different, but um, Chellington Extended in FS15, that did have a farm down here. And again, we've got lights that turn on the inside ones, I'm guessing, that one. Yep. Can I see an outside one? Oh, yeah, here we go. Here's a separate switch. Oh, wow. Okay. So this farm works differently. Those lights are on. I oh, know those are off. That's on. So, yeah, I think, I think depending on the farm, you're going to have to play around a bit because... The lights, this has, these two barns have separate switches for the internals. I can't see a, oh, here we go. Is that a switch for the external? Yes. Okay, so, uh, yeah. It's a little bit like that. The, the wiring around the map is a little bit funky. Uh, but, yeah, looking uh, very nice. I think this is a pig farm by the looks of things. Uh... Is this it? This looks like it might be it here. No. We've not got any... Oh, what's that down there? One of these gateways is going to have the trigger on it. There we go. Pig farm. That's exactly what this is. So we'll head out from here. Let's turn in here. And this is, again, this is another yard. This has, this is an arable yard, so it has no space there. Well, it has, it has space for everything here. Pretty, pretty nice yard. Again, plenty of space. You get a combine in here quite easily. But it looks to be split over the road quite a bit. So we've got, ah, heading over here. Yeah, so we've got the uh, the grain store and everything that side. This is Clark's farm over this way, and this is a, this is a new addition, definitely. And I want to head. I think. Wow, this gets a little bit confusing at this point. We want to head up to Bashel Stores up this way. This junction is very confusing. I went up the wrong road. We want this one here. Again, nice detail on the, the houses and things around here. So they're, they're all nice, compact farms. As the only thing that stood out so far for me as, as a, a niggle or an issue is that first, is the main house. It just, the more I look at this map, the more it stands out like a sore thumb. Uh... Special stores, yeah. So, cell point here again. So many cell points on this map. Really, really full of cell points. Uh, and that is that is just excellent. Uh, I'm going to cut back. Uh, just keep going forwards then. Uh, I'm going to cut back and uh, we're going to go around the road at the bottom of the map. It's... It's so huge. I mean, we are, yeah. 
This is probably going to be my first hour long map first look. Because we are going such a long way. We need to move down here and then turn here. Wow, this is. Look at this. This is so dark. That is quite something to. Rarely do you see a British map do this. Uh, nice house there. Wow, really nice house there. If you want to look very posh, that's where you buy the house on Chellington. And this is this is the bit I remember about uh, Chellington Valley or Chellington Extended in fifteen. Is this really tight road going across the back here? And bane of my existence, trying to get a combine big enough down here uh, that will do these fields, but won't get stuck on all the walls. Uh, and looking really nice though. And again, you look out over the valley and it's just incredible. Uh, we want to head down this way. We've got the horses out over here. And then, yeah, and this has been, this has been opened out quite a bit uh, for these. There was, a, it was felt a lot closer in previous versions. Does feel very much like a new map. Uh, you know familiar but different and this is the stables so if you want to do your horses this is where you do that uh yep there we go horses uh looking very nice and then we've got another fight we've got a farmyard yard over the other side of the river here i think there's a bridge across to it just over here so we'll uh, we'll pop across that cows and sh cows and pigs or cows and sheep. I really oh wow this is a nice looking farm. So this is old oak farm, yeah old oak farm. Wow, this is a very nice looking farm. So what do we got here? We got cows. Yep. Uh, a lot of storage space. Does this? No, that shed door doesn't open. Is there any? So, oh, that's pity. That is a very big shed in the middle of this farm that isn't usable. By the looks of things, yeah, it's just a a big area that you can't open. That's a pity. Um, I'm guessing the same is true for this one. I'm not a huge fan of that. I'd, I'd like to be able to use all the sheds that I've got in a, in a farmyard. So a, a big shed like that uh, would be... Uh, is, a, is a little bit annoying to me. It does go out like out that way quite nicely. bit weird to see sugarcane on a British map, but that's that's the thing. And, uh, yeah. What have we got the other side of the... I think that's a pump house. But, uh, oh, yeah. For, the map also has seasonal flooding and things like that, which is uh, which is great. Love that as well. I think this farmyard might be a bit susceptible to that. We'll head up here, and is that... Yeah, that is the cell point. That is just the other side of there. Now, I need to plan this little bit of our journey a bit carefully. Yeah, we're going to go... So, we're going to turn down this road here. Go have a look at this cell point here. And then... Wow. Wow. In here, we've got Jewton Store. So, another cell point here. And again, get the feeling of, of how amazing this map is. Right, let's... There are no brakes on this Land Rover. And head down this way, and we've got a cell point. No, no, it must be another farm down this way. Another arable farm. Because of uh, it's not a cell point, it's a tipping point. So head around and down here. And that's this farm nestled in this dip here. 
Blatt's nice. That is very nice. Good farm to base yourself if you want to do some forestry. Lockdown farm. There we go. So again, nice uh, variety of sheds here. No wasted space in this yard at all, by the looks of things. Except, can we get in this shed? Is this shed accessible? Must be. Yeah, there we go. Oh, nice old shed. Does that... That does not have a closing door on it. Uh, grain store. Yeah, very nice. A lockdown farm is a nice farm. Has lots of really nice little touches and things on here. Uh, that is just, yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous looking map. I like all of the individual yards. There's, there's so much here that you can play with and and i think there's at least three yards i really like at the moment which is uh which is quite something that's you know that's that's quite a thing lockdown is is a nice yard though you set your house to be there how are we going to plan this for the multiplayer uh, i don't know we are going to have a play around we're going to be on here on Twitch on Wednesday uh, so uh, head over to my Twitch channel the uh, the link is in the description uh, we are going to be uh, I'm either going to be setting up or we're, or we're already set up and doing the multiplayer on Wednesday night uh, the balloon tree stores there we go good sell point here as well doing nicely and then we've got another farm out that way so let's head up here and how does this fit in with yeah okay we're good let's head up this way and yeah this is there's so much to this map so so much to this map it's ridiculous and out here and onto this wow this huge long drive up to another farm this is autumn wood farm uh and again this looks like it's sheep and cows Let's have a look over here there seems to be a point to un to unload here but it's not telling me exactly where it's ah it might be this one here there we go sheep and then oh, I said nice again though I wish this barn opened I really do it's it's unfortunate it's there we go cows as well so sheep and cow farm this one autumn wood yeah I, I this this barn here I don't like I, I kind of wish it was just a big open barn or or an open front or something like that. It does feel like a lot of wasted space in the farms that those are on. But uh, otherwise, very nice looking yard. It's, that is very good. Right, and away. And we've got one more yard to look at before we head back to the main farm. This is quite a long drive on this farm, though. That is very cool. And right we go. And then up this way. And we should find... Carlton. Where we have a cell point in there. Not sure how you get to it, but you can see this. Ah, there we go. Through here, the farm shop. Our cell point is in here. So probably not a lot of maneuvering space around here. Uh, getting a, 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 an articulated lorry or something into there is going to be fun. And then we head off up this way. And yeah. And wow, look at this. So that's the other end of the train line coming through there. 
massive bridge over the river that just is, looks incredible. And we come out the other side and up here and back up towards our farm. Just sort of... This is just amazing. Yep. And then we're back round and this brings us back up to the top to the main road uh, with the farm just off to our left up here. Yeah, and there's the farmhouse coming up on left here. In fact, oh, damn. There are no brakes on this, so going full uh, full pelt means I missed the turning I wanted to do to come into the, uh, the back entrance of the farm, but that's all right. What we can do is just come down here, and this should be familiar to everybody. This is Chellington Farm that we all know and have played many times before. Uh, and we've got a slice that has been slightly reworked. We've got a uh, new grain store tipping there. Uh, shed is nice. Uh, does this shed open? This shed always opened before. Yeah. So nice shed over there. And then we head down around here. So it's not got quite the, the drop as before. It's definitely... Uh, it's less it's less shabby than it was before but quite a, a big yard still chickens over there we've got uh yeah chellington farm has a lot of stuff to it uh we've got chickens over there we've got the cows down here uh we've got what looks like a cell point so a straw cell point here and around this way yeah the other end of the farm we've got the uh we've got the sheep i think it is up this way can we get to them around here i think we can get some around here there we go oh to wait for the landy to stop no we can't okay they are the other side okay excuse me i'm going through the hedge uh they start over here yeah so this area now is your sheep area which i don't think it was last time i don't think this was an area where you had sheep but uh yeah sheep area is around here and in this field here so that pretty much covers off everything on this map it's taken us about an hour it's gonna be yeah this is gonna be one of my longest first looks ever uh, but i think it was worth it to go round through everything we are that is there is so much to this map and it is it is a great single player map it's a great multiplayer map uh you can no two people i think will play this map in the same way i think it's gonna be um yeah i think you're you're gonna have quite a lot of fun going around this and choosing your farm and everything let's just have a quick look here at, uh, at what equipment you start with uh so back into the owned items so you've got a Massey Ferguson 7719 uh, T6125, uh, a Massey Ferguson uh, Activa uh, 7347S. Uh, so nice big combine, two reasonably powered tractors. Yeah, 210 and 125. That's good. Uh, you get a li Lizard Pickup 2014, uh, a Cramp Bandit 750, uh, Massey Ferguson Free Throw 25 foot, um, POH 5 Plow, which uh, fits in nicely. The Star Osiris Master cedar which is good for everything as well uh gmd 4411 uh mower 
a uh, uh, New Holland rollbelt one, 50, a uh, Lagoon Quattro 40 header trailer. So that works well as well. Uh, SB 1000 weight and an SB 700 weight uh, and a horse paddock. I don't know exactly where that horse paddock is, but you do have one, interestingly enough. Uh, that is, uh, that's a good amount of equipment, I think. Yeah, you, you don't have anything to ted grass into hay. Um, but you do have something to cut the grass. Uh, and yeah, nothing to row it up. So yeah, you need... There is equipment you'll need to buy if you're going to get into the cows on here. It's a very lean equipment setup. It's the only thing I'd say. Uh, this is a... Yeah, this is a direct seeder. So no worries about not having a cultivator at all. Uh, but yeah, that's uh, that's a very bare bones uh, equipment setup, I'd have said on here. Uh, starting farm in New Farmer, uh, just to cover that quickly, you start with, wow. So you start with field 36, uh, the main farm, field 1, 2, and 3. I would say with that bare bones starting setup, I would likely sell off a field or two. Uh, you could you could easily get yeah you'll get half a million selling off fields two and three, um, and then you can get uh, maybe some of the cheaper smaller fields up the top here uh, to to work your way around a little bit and centralize yourself maybe, but uh, yeah it's it's a it's a nice big area you start with you also start with the area around the map uh, that costs zero. Um, but gives you access to things like the BGA. So, uh, yep, yeah, there is all of that. Uh, so, yeah, there we go. That is Chellington Valley. This has been a longer video than normal. Uh, I do realise that. Um, I hope you've stuck with it. I hope you have enjoyed this first look. And uh, if you want to check it out, hopefully this should be on the Mod Hub in the very near future. Um, it is a fantastic map. Um, go download it when it's available it should be on console as well as PC uh, and it, of course has a whole load of additional fruits as well uh, because it is fully maze plus compatible um, for now though all that remains is for me to say thank you for watching I hope you have enjoyed this uh, first look please give it a like drop us a comment and give it a share and for all the latest videos from virtual farmer please subscribe to the channel ring that bell and i will see you next time goodbye